Hey what's up guys, so at the moment I'm cooking up a real banger, but it should take at least another week until I've completed it, so I came up with the idea to make this video, this is probably gonna be my first and last serious video on this channel, unless you guys like this kind of shit, and I felt like it was a good idea to make this video because I started trading like about 2 months ago, I started from 600 credits that was lying in my inventory cause I had it left over from the battle pass, and uh, I just decided to start trading and finally getting to the point where I can buy a white octane is a real big milestone for me And of course, I'm not stopping here like from this point on I can start making money real fast And I'll explain why this is in a little bit But if you want to learn everything that I have to offer about trading be sure to watch the whole video because this, this is gonna be packed with a lot of tips and tricks and uh, a lot of important information So yeah, if you're not aware yet, this video is basically gonna be me breaking the magician's code and uh, letting you guys in on my secrets to getting rich by trading RC car pixels and shit. First of all, before I say anything about the methods that I use to trade, how I make the most money out of trading and uh, like minor details and shit. First I need to show you the three sites that I use. I use three sites for three different reasons. So the first site is RL Garage. It says rocketleague.com but you can just type RL Garage on Google and uh, that's how you're gonna find it. This site is where you post everything so if you wanna buy an item you're gonna post that you have credits and you're uh, trying to get the item that you're trying to get. If you wanna sell an item just like I'm doing over here I've listed my white octane for this amount of credits and th this site is pretty simple so you just click new trade whenever you whenever you want to make a new post you click on a box over here say you want to sell this fucking piece of shit that nobody and nobody's gonna want to buy and you just put it over here and uh, on the other side of the post you select whatever you want for this item so uh, yeah now down here you can type some note uh, I usually put like my steam name and my epic games name also you gotta choose your platform It's very important because you can't trade cross-platform and uh, you just press submit and the post goes up now very important if you want to get a trade and you don't want to wait like 24 years for a single trade you gotta make sure to bump your trade regularly you don't have to bump it like every 15 minutes the post goes on a 15 minute bump cooldown every time you press bump so yeah you don't you don't gotta press bump like every 15 minutes if you want to get a trade but if you can always have a, a tab open on this site whenever you use your pc and make sure to bump your trades every like 30 minutes or so uh you can get yourself a bunch of trades uh really easily now the second site i use is rl insider this is a spreadsheet this site shows the price of every single item it shows the the low price and the high price but i don't use this site to find out what the price is for every item i'm trying to trade because spreadsheets are fucking terrible for the prices dude every single spreadsheet is fucking trash because the prices are objectively wrong it can't have every single price like spot on like if i search up octane and look at the the white octane over here it says it's sitting on 10.6 to 11.5k but i checked like a minute ago and it goes from like 9.7 to 11k but the reason i use this site is because it gives pretty good predictions on how prices are gonna change so if you press this little button over here, if you select volatility and you take a look at the items, the ones that are gonna be green are the ones that the site thinks are gonna go up in price. This is the only reason you're gonna wanna use the site. Uh, now next up, the last site that I use is rltrade.com. If you wanna find it on Google, you can just type uh, rltrade finder. Fi Finender and this site is where I get my prices from. This is much more accurate than uh, RL Insider because you can see trades from Discord servers, Reddit, RL Garage, Steam. You can see every single trade that's going up for any item you want to search up. So if, if I want to buy a white octane, I'm gonna search up titanium white octane over here that's how you search it up this is the syntax so if i type titanium white octane on search from want i can see people's posts for trying to buy a white octane so i can see 
what people are willing to pay for it so I can uh, make up my mind on what I want to pay for it myself. But I always search an item up on uh, both search bars just to see how much profit exactly I can make in, on an item. So over here you can see people are, li people are listing their wired octanes for 10.6k. So if I want to sell my octane real quick i need to sell it for 10.6k or a little bit lower maybe but i bought mine for 10.45k i think i'm gonna wait a little bit i think it's it's gonna go up in price so uh, i might as well wait a little bit and sell it for this price or an even higher one so yeah that's how you use this site so now here's my methods that i use to get my money Get my dough, stack my fucking big bang roll, baby. We're not doing anything like real crazy. You don't gotta be a rocket scientist to understand this shit. We're basically just buying stuff and selling it for a higher price than we paid for it. And that's it. You just gotta pick the right items. You're gonna be able to make up your mind on what you wanna buy by yourself once you get enough experience. But something that's good to know is that all the black markets are items that sell a lot because they're just good looking. That's the reason. BMs sell a lot, so BMs are good to go for if you wanna buy and sell. Of course, you gotta be realistic with your prices. You're not gonna get any offers if you try to buy an interstellar for like 100 credits that's not happening dude painted and normal fenix are also good to buy and sell as well as painted octanes these are also pretty good to sell oh by the way for people who are gonna ask no battle pass items go for fucking nothing okay please stop offering people battle pass items for their valuable items they are never gonna accept stop wasting people's time please so yeah the last thing i want to say in this video is that you need to keep in mind that more expensive items are gonna have a bigger gap between their low price and their high price so the intrudium which is a uh, really ugly <laughs> BM decal is gonna be able to make you like a hundred credits profit maximum while the titanium white octane can make you up to like 900 credits profit make maybe 1k you might be able to squeak out 1k so yeah this is the reason you don't wanna you don't wanna cash out too early that's the reason i'm still going strong and uh i'm not quitting trading anytime soon so uh yeah that's all i had to say today i hope i was able to get some of you aspiring rl traders into the game but yeah anyway real banger coming soon boys so get ready for that and uh if you're not here for this kind of content then don't worry i'm not turning into a serious fucking financial advice channel or some shit i'm still gonna make the same dumbass content skits and uh rocket league montages but if you guys like this video i might make some more serious stuff i don't know we'll see but yeah anyway boys this has been the trading guru himself and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out